due process, winner of 25 regional Emmy Awards. Due process is a presentation of Rutgers University, Newark, and Rutgers Law School in Newark. What about the bed? Were we waiting on the detox bed? Um, I, I waved it, I said. Uh, oh, you can't wave it no, because no, then no, you no, can't no, be no. finished with Judge well, Pratt. And Victoria Pratt is no ordinary judge. Good morning, please be seated. She runs a kind of court you have likely never seen before. Court becomes a place for assistance. The Newark Community Court, sometimes called the Social Work Court, on this edition of Due Process. Well, the criminal justice system is seriously flawed. That's no longer news. And neither is the urgency to do something about the plague of mass incarceration. The human cost, especially to the most damaged and vulnerable among us. I'm Sandra King, here fittingly in the Moot Courtroom at Rutgers Law School. Because on this edition of Due Process, we focus on the poor, the addicted, the confused and discarded who get caught in the wheel of minor crime and pointless punishment, and just maybe come one small step toward breaking that cycle. Your name for the record? James Mark. How are you doing today? I'm good. How's the baby? She good. Good, good. How big is she now? She's about to be eight months. She can't eight months? Yeah. Oh. What's going on with Mr. Martin? Justice Martin is in compliance with the Oh, I'm going to have to give Mr. Martin a hand clap. It's a miracle. About time. It's a court that encourages audience participation when a defendant called client here has shown some signs of success. Mr. Martin, I'm writing excellent on your file. Can you believe that? <laughs> you have to laugh. Look at all the angry notes. Excellent. <laughs> Good stuff. I knew that guy lived inside of you. Head this way, fellas. Keep your eyes forward, won't you, sir? But cross this kindly judge, fail to follow orders like kick the drugs or get a job. But Mr. Jones, what is your problem? And she'll scold you like your mother might. $100 from 2012. You got another, don't speak when I speak. That's why you don't know what's going on. No matter how old you are. Stop worrying your children. Don't be driving around late at night. I don't feel out late anymore, Your Honor. She will get right in your most private business. Uh -huh. How old was the girlfriend? Oh, you should see your daughter's face. Boy, she was not happy. 40? 30? Oh my, oh my goodness. Because this is Newark's community court, among the first in the country designed not to prosecute and punish, they're offering to help people, you know, as, as opposed to just sentencing people. But to break the cycle of arrest and trial, fines and jail for Newark's written off and wretched, the nonviolent offenders who do drugs and other petty crime, who show up in Newark's municipal court again and again. But not by punishing them, by offering people appropriate help. We want to find out why is this person coming back before the court over and over? Is it related to substance abuse? So you're in the program because you have a drug problem and you haven't been dealing with it. Let's just get this. You don't get to waive detox. You don't get to waive getting into a treatment program. You do not get to because it's a part of your sentence. You don't get to waive it. Before I could go, I detox before. Put it out. That doesn't make any sense. Stop trying to game the judge, no. And if you think Judge Pratt sounds like a scolding mom, you're not alone. And did you find her behavior towards you any different than normal judge? No, it's like my mother. Your mother was pretty tough. Yeah. He has to get off the street. That's what's wrong with these young people. And in this court, an actual distraught mother gets her too. I know if I catch him out there again, he's going to get a nice orange jumpsuit. Do you understand what happens if you don't come back to court, if I release you? Yeah. What happens? Tell me. Get locked up. All right. Do I, and you know I don't forget a face. She really has been a pioneer in administering what's called procedural justice. Uh, and this is the idea that people best respond.